Hey guys, it's FIFA Rally here, and welcome to episode 67 of Let's FIFA 13. And every now and again, I do get some gameplay where I just can't wait to upload it. And today's episode is one of those episodes where I just couldn't wait to upload it for you guys. So let's get going. I'll start off by showing the squads I've built. Uh, we pretty much recreated the silver side I had about one and a half week ago uh, but the keeper is Gohama instead of Fabiano and Salao is a center back instead of Juan and uh, Gohama does still get 9 chemistry despite being uh, out of formation because he is in another squad as well uh, where the formation card is right and if I'm pronouncing uh, the keeper's name wrong let me know because I'm not quite sure to pronounce it uh, but here is the other silver side I also built Gohama is here on goal as well and uh, this time around his formation card is uh, completely light green then center backs we do have Antonio Ferreira and Cortez, both with great pace and they got some decent defending and hidden stats. Not stellar, uh, but it's all right. Right back we do have Arias. He's the only Colombian right back in the game, and he is there to ensure that Ortega does get the nine chemistry. And then left back we do have a Junior Cesar, 89 pace, and he links nicely up with Antonio Ferreira and Rosenai. And Rosenai there with the 86 pace and high defensive work rate, which is a really some really good stats for him, and he is a really good player. I've used him before. And the Final center mid is a Quintel, 5 star skills and A5 pace. Then on the left wing we have a Danilinho, uh, who he does only get 7 chemistry but that's alright for me. He will still play a pretty good and uh, he actually plays in the Mexican league now so if you didn't know that you can actually pick him up and I only got him for 60k so he's still quite cheap at the moment. Right wing we will have a Mike and Lady, 90 pace, 5 star skills as well and the final player is a Jaja, 68 pace, really strong and tall and he does have 5 star skills as well. But this is not how I will play the side when I go into a game. But I, I've used the 4-3-3 four, 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 three, three, uh, formation to get all the players in I wanted to have. Uh, so when I go into a game, I will change the formation to a 4-1-2-1-2. Four, one, two, one, two, because I feel that is the formation that works best for me. It's quite similar to the 3-5-2 actually. You will always have 5 defending. But it's just a little bit more wide. You have the left back and right back instead of having all your players in the center. And I really do like playing this formation. But this is how I'll play the team. Rose and I on the defensive mid. Dan and Nino and Leide on the right mid and left mid. Jaja as the offensive mid. And then Ortega and Quintero as the strikers. And I can only say it works out so very well when you get into a game. And I'll get into that in just a moment. Uh, but uh, we go into the gold cup here. And it... Uh, just before I commentate on the game, I'll just quickly say that I will build a gold side as well. I'll probably build it for the next episode. I'll have to go over the comments today and see which side you think I should build. So that will probably be for the next episode of Let's FIFA 13 where I will have built a, a gold side. But if we go into the gold cup and he managed to get the lead and a nice save there with the slide tackle for him. And in the end, he actually managed to get another goal here to make it 2-0. So really bad start to the game there. But I'll push back here with Quintero and I get quite lucky to pick it up with Ortega and that. That is a 2-1. And now as he get a goal straight on the start of uh, the second half here. Getting the rebound. Some really lucky goals there to make it 2-2. But in the 88th minute it is 3-2. And I do go out on off the round of 16th. And this was not the most interesting game. But the next one coming up is, is actually quite entertaining I would say. And this is probably one of the most enjoyable play games I've played of FIFA in a quite a while. So we go into the game and I decide to go with the other silver side here, the 4-4-2-1. And I will come up against a team which does not have the best chemistry. He has defensive mids on the center backs, left wing, left wings on the right backs and left backs. And I take his keep out so many times in this game. And I just couldn't finish and get that a compilation goal because that is one of the things I want to get. A compilation goal where I take the keep out twice and get some fancy finish. And every single time here I just went a little bit too far, getting very close to getting that goal but I just I couldn't get it into the back of the net you see yeah, this is the third time I believe I take out the keeper and this time around his defender gets to the ball then it's Wallace and ping the ball up nice stuff here getting past the two defenders and he will cross it in with the Rabona cross but I cannot get the header in and it's no goal so we go into the second half here it's Quincy on the ball nice stuff here goes past two defenders he will take on a third then the ra rainbow flick to set up fed for Cedars by still kick and that had been an amazing goal once again if it had went in and taking his keep out for the fourth time for the fifth time and here trying for the heel finish and he just managed to get it to the ball so full time is nil nil but I just had such a good time playing this game and I I wasn't really too bothered about going into extra time because it was so much fun playing this game and here another chance with Wallison I try to flick it back for the bicycle kick but I end up failing quite a bit and I lose the ball and it will go out to Acevedo who picks it up and he will make his way into the box here and get a shot in but it goes wide and in the end we go into penalties and he will score 
his first one and I will miss it. He saves mine, really nice save, and he will score another one. And guess what? He saves mine as well, so not looking very good. And then he scores, but I will manage to get my first goal as well. And then I save the one, and if he had scored, he had gone through, and I score mine. And then he steps up, I dive the right way, but he wins it and go through. But despite I pretty much dominated the entire game and I probably could have won it by a whole lot more, I wasn't really too bothered that I went out of the of, uh, out of the tournament that early because I feel FIFA is just about having fun and if you have a fun game, why not just play it and go into extra time and have and enjoy the game even more? It doesn't really matter too much. But I go into my next game here and as you can see, he he just used contain so much with both players and that meant. I just couldn't get any skill chances in this game, so uh, this was not the most interesting game, and we do actually end up going into extra time. I get a chance here in the dying seconds, but I miss it. So we enter extra time, and I decide just to take the easy goal there, and to get that 1-0 lead and go into the quarterfinals, and that is what I do, and I'm through to the quarterfinals, and now we get on to the game. I just couldn't wait to show you guys. Uh, the, the second game of this episode was pretty entertaining, but this one is even better, so let's get into it. I go uh, with the 4-4 free silver side and then um, I will come up against a, a pretty nice goal team here but his center backs are all quite slow and that means I will create quite a few chances first it's Quinteo nice stuff here cross it in and I hope Jaja would get to that ball instead uh, of uh, I believe Danny Nino but I will still keep on creating chances here there's Ortega he will cross it in a bicycle kick but it is just offside, just in front of the second defender, so offside unfortunately. It could have been a nice goal, but then we get to the goal I couldn't wait to show you. I'll just gonna pause it here and say, the ball leaves the ground here and it doesn't hit the ground before it's into the back of the net. And it goes through three players off my team, so let's look at it, and I think it's a really nice goal here. Pass it, Birkenflick, Bicel kick, goal. I couldn't believe this one, it was so amazing when I scored that one, and... Uh, yeah, looks so good. Over the top ball, get the ball in the air, Birkenflick, a goal. And I'm really happy about that goal, and that will for sure go into the compilation. Looks really good, uh, and we were d weren't done there. We had a lot more goals to come. Here, it's Danny Nino making his way into the box. A nice stuff here, and in the end, he will cross it in with the Rabona, and it is Ortega there to head it in to make it 2 0. Then into the second half, nice stuff here from Jaja. Going past 2, going past a 3. Rabona cross, a diving header is a 3 0. Looking really good, and in uh, a few minutes later, we'll find or take a flick it up, a bicycle kick, but it goes just over the goal. And then the last chance of the game, 69th minute, is Ortega through on goal. He will cross it with the Rabona cross, he will get it back from Quintel. Laces flick up, overhead flick, and it's a goal, 4-0. And what a game to win the quarterfinals with, and I was really happy about that. And the first goal with Quintel is for sure going into the compilation. So yeah guys, thank you for watching this episode, I hope you did enjoy it. Uh, and I... Do not think I will have the next episode out tomorrow, uh, but it will probably be out Friday instead. So yeah guys, thank you for watching and I will talk to you later.